Well, we're out here, Western North Carolina, up in the mountains here, I'm trying to catch some big smallmouth for the Appalachian Kayak League monthly or winter series challenge. I can't even work my remote with these gloves on, but trying to catch some bass put up on. I need anything over 18 inches. Uh, had a great day yesterday fishing with Derek out there in Georgia. So we're out here trying to catch a bunch of fish. Uh, you know, I live on the border of like three states, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Georgia. I, I happen to live in North Carolina, but uh, I'm like an hour, I'm like two hours from Tennessee. I'm, I'm about an hour and a half from everything, everything good in life. But uh, yeah, we're out here trying to catch a few, have a lot of history on this lake. It's really freaking cold this morning. I tried to get, I tried to get out here when the sun came up to, uh, so I could work my hands. That's been, that, that's the only thing that gets cold on me is that uh, my fingertips get really cold and it creeps down my hand and my thumb joints lock up and it sucks. So we're out here going in the sun, gonna try this bluff wall, see if we can't catch a few and I'll be checking back with you. like it but i had the data that was developed both in texas by edgar there's a giant side stacker fisheries bass biologist and larry he might measure mortality rates uh, on the bass we catch and they, their data coincided between the two states in terms of when the water temperature hits a certain point you can expect this to happen get a selfie <sighs> Bass boy out here. It's hardcore. Of course, the whole entire lake come right here. The is he gonna help? Oh, he would help. No, seventeen and three quarters. Seventeen and three quarter. The big, big. Let him go. Catch one of his buddies. I need a 20 incher. See if we can get one cast to catch here. It's warming up. It's supposed to warm up. That's why I came out here today. Very rare conditions for this time of year. We have very little wind. Um, we're in a great weather pattern. Very little wind, and then it's been warming up into like the high 50s in Georgia and Franklin. It might get up into like 48 or something here today. It's always colder up here. Plan on that if you come out here. Bring extra clothes. But we're just creeping this thing along. I'm gonna get a thump. I'm gonna get a dupe.
water temperature is 47.4. It's like almost the same as Georgia. A few degrees uh, cooler. I mean, a few tenths of a degree cooler. I think, I think we got up to 48 yesterday in Georgia. <clears throat> Snot grass on this edge. Yeah, he came in, he literally took two casts, and then up there. What are they doing? I don't know. It's one of those ski fish. I mean, those are like the dumbest boats ever. It's like they suck at both things they suck at water skiing and they suck at bass fishing. saw me catch that one too I'm surprised they left they might be perch fishing that's one thing about these lakes up here you don't get a lot of bass fishermen up here I mean you get some but they don't usually it's people on vacation and they just want to catch a perch we, get, we have walleye in here there's kokanee salmon in here so they want to they want to like catch those kind of fish they, they can catch bass at home you know that's their philosophy which is fine with me Try not to make this video too boring. I mean, I would like to have some, you know, nice editings. Oh, there's a big bait ball. Some trap music in my videos, but I've got it down to a science. I can literally, my editing is like no time. It takes no time. I know you can tell, but it takes like no time. And it's a lot of guys, they set such a high expectation for themselves on YouTube. Like, you know, they want to make a, a legitimate channel, I would say, other than a fishing vlog, which really my channel is. I don't, I give a few tips. If you watch my videos from beginning to end, you'll see what I'm doing. There's no, there's no secrets to what I'm doing. It's tried and true techniques that have been passed down, you know, from one geezer to another. You know, that's the problem with these Kytex. They do this crap right here, which is super annoying. Sometimes it means they get bit. If you feel, if you feel a thump and your tail's wrapped when you come up, something bit it. Oh God, this is a big one. I got a big, big on. Jumping everywhere. Oh my God, he just keeps jumping like 50 times. Oh, it's a big one. There we go, get in the net. That's a good one. Oh, oh. that's gotta be 19 inches. <laughs> Give me a little cold. Give me a little love. Oh. It's a nice little guy. See if we can catch another one. And they're little like that, you can catch us multiples. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I saved those. That was dumb. Not thinking. All right, let's get another one of these. I got him. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. That's a tub. That is a tub. That is a tub. It is a tub. It is a tub. It is a tub. Get in here. Whoa. 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 That is a giant. God. Figures my scale is freaking on the fritz. Oh, man. Look at this fish. Oh God, this is a big one. Oh, it's hooked. Wow, they're getting the hook good today. There it is. Oh 
yeah. Look at that. Let me get the sun on him for sure. Let's get the sun on him for sure. I should have started here, but I... This place was in the shade. Look at that bass. That's got to go five pounds. I think it's huge. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if, he, if he's going to help. He should help. Most people drop things out of their kayak reaching for other stuff. That's always what's happened to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, this thing. Uh. Next boat will be a new canoe on Ultimate or something bigger, wider. That's the problem. That's the problem with this setup. It needs to be an inch wider and needs to have an inch more uh, gunnel. Your hands are cold. This thing doesn't want to work. Let's try to get a picture. <laughs> Pull my mask down. Oh my god. Whew, that is a stud of a bass. Alright, let's get a picture. Let's get him on the board. Let's get him on the board. Oh, he might go 20. Oh yes, he's 20. Yes, he's 20. Oh my god. He's 20 inches. That's a stud. No. No. Just let me get a picture. And you'll be back in the water. Everything will be happy. You'll be happy. 20 and a quarter. His mouth was open. He's gonna be 20 inches. His mouth. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I think I got it. I just want to double check. Yeah, it looks good. I'll take one more. I don't like doing this. It's a real problem. All right, I got a bunch of pictures. <sighs> Whew, that's a giant. Let's let him go. He's been out of the water way too long. Um, a question or concern giant. I need to consult. I've also, because of social media, started two different podcasts, and that would have never happened. I think Jessica solid. started making her own social media content, too, about how she became a psychologist and advice on how to start a career in therapy. She also makes videos about where to find help if someone is having a mental health crisis. Many of my posts, especially video posts where I'm talking about a topic, I will start by saying I'm a licensed psychologist, just so that people who come across my videos or content know that I do have the training and background in what I'm about to talk about. But the more Jessica got into the... In Turn the podcast off. Oh, it's been a long time between bites here. There's a big one on the crankbait. I don't know if he's gonna help. Sure is a big one though. Sure is a good one. Here we go, come on. Good one. Get a 
picture. go back to camera every time that's what makes sense all right let's get a quick measure on this guy start to really pick up Seventeen and a half. Get a picture of him. Close this. All right, I got a picture. Almost the best three. Here it is, right there. Ooh, I was about to leave, man. I just got another freaking tank. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Got a spot on his tail. Man, that's got to be a 20 inch or it's got to be 1920. This thing is huge. Ooh. Oh man, I saw him down there too. I finally. It's, it's been just. Wind has been really hard to get my boat in a position to actually do anything, even with the spot lock. <clears throat> Look at that bass. Holy smokes. That is a giant. <sighs> I gotta get my wits. Gotta get my wits about me. is right there another 19 oh, stay. stay 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 almost done almost done Oh, it's just unreal. All right, 19. Damn, we might go 19 and a quarter. No, he's not going 19 and a quarter. That's a big one, though. Man. Let's see if we can get 
get another one. 